Hey guys, and welcome back. So as you can tell from my backdrop, I'm kind of trying to switch it up a little bit. So in the next few videos, if you kind of see my backgrounds looking a little different, I'm trying to figure out, you know, a new kind of layout to kind of spice things up in my videos. So as far as today's video goes, I had recently done an e.l.f. haul where I purchased a ton of stuff that was on sale, 50% and even more on some products off on the e.l.f. website. So I decided to do a full face first impressions for you guys and kind of give my thoughts on, you know, if I thought these products, even on sale, if they're worth spending the money or not. So this is the look that I created with the products that I purchased from the e.l.f. website. So if these are the kind of videos you like, please give me a thumbs up as well as please subscribe to my channel. And if you want to see how I got this look, just keep on watching. All right, so first up, we're going to go into the foundation palette. I'm going to see if I can make one of these shades work. I think that all of them might be a little bit too dark for me currently, but I'm going to see what I can do. And before that, since I don't have a primer, I'm just going to go in with the Cover FX Blurring Primer that I received in my BoxyCharm. I think it was May. And I'm just going to go in with the lighting shade and see if I can make that work. So verdict on this foundation is it is not something that I will reach for again. Clearly I look very, very orange, so there was no shade in here that matched me at all. Um, and it's to me it's not even close to being full coverage. You can't even build it up to full coverage. So it wouldn't even be worth it. At this point I might as well just use a BB cream. So I didn't have a concealer, so I'm just going to go in with the uh, Maybelline Age Rewind and try to brighten me up a little bit and not look as orange. <laughs> Okay, so moving right along to set everything, I'm going to use this translucent powder that I purchased during the sale as well. I'm not going to use a sponge, I'm actually going to use, I'm going to go in under my eyes with this brush and then I'll go in with a little bit of a fluffier brush and kind of dab in the product and see how it does. So the verdict on the translucent setting powder is I actually really liked it. It kind of gives you that velvety um, airbrush look and it's also like a cute little compact you could just throw in your purse so you have something when you're on the go as well. Alright, next up I'm going to go in with the bronzer and blush uh, duo in bronzed peach and I'm just going to use the bronze shade to kind of you know give me a little bit more color back into my face. And I can also tell this is going to be very pigmented so I'm going to go in with a very very light hand. Okay, so this bronzer and blush duo, I only tried the bronzer, I wanted to try the blush in the other palette that I have, but um, I loved it, it went on beautifully, it blended out so easily, and I feel like it just gave me just the right amount of kind of bronze to my face. Alright, so up next I'm going to blush up my cheeks, and I'm going to go with this kind of lighter coral shade here, and just go lightly on the apples of my cheeks, and then blend it into my bronzer. So I really like how the blush came out, it gave me a nice subtle kind of glow to my face, so I'll definitely be reaching for this again. So next up I'm actually going to use the tinted uh, brow gel first, and then I'll go back in with that pencil that I bought, just to kind of see what I need to fill in, because I have a feeling that pencil is going to be way too dark for me anyway, but I'm just going to give it a shot, because I told you guys I would try to do a full face using all of these products, or you know, as many as I could from that e.l.f. haul. So this brow gel is in the shade light and I definitely will be using it again. I really like it because it kind of lays your eyeballs flat and kind of puts them in the shape that you want them to be. So now I'm going to try to go in with the brow pencil. It's a pencil and an eyeliner and I'm pretty sure it's in the shade black or it's in dark brown and it looks extremely dark but I'm going to lightly go in and kind of fill in any of the sparse areas and see you know what the look we can come up with with this brow pencil.
All right, so this is already a no just because of this shade that it's in. Um, I didn't mind the way that it applied. It was really creamy. It wasn't really waxy because I know sometimes wax pencils, at least for me, they're harder to kind of get the shape that you want with your eyebrow. So this was really easy to use. It's just not the right shade for me. I'm going to go ahead and kind of even out what I did to the other brow, um, but then I'm going to go ahead and see if I can use a shadow to kind of finish what I want to do with my brows. All right, so long story short, I had to go in with the exfoliating cleansing cloth and just take off everything that was on my eyebrows. It was just really bad. They were really, really dark. I particularly do not like the really bold eyebrow. I like it to look more natural, so I just couldn't take it. I had to go back in with my Benefit precisely my brow and just do them like that. But we're just gonna chop it up as a bad brow day and we're gonna move on. So now we're gonna work on the eye look. I'm gonna go into the Holy Smokes eyeshadow palette. And I'm gonna take this lighter beige shade here and just go all over my lid with it um, to kind of set whatever you know foundation and concealer I do have on there. Alright, next I'm going to go in with this darker brown shade and start in my upper crease to kind of build it up. So far with the three eyeshadows that I've used, they're very pigmented and they're very easily blended, so I'm really impressed with this palette. Next up I'm going to go with the shade darker right there and also build that into my transition. So for all over the lid, I'm going to go into the Island Breeze palette. I'm going to go with this lightest metallic shade here. First, I'm just going to apply it with my finger and see how it works, and then I'll decide if I need to cut my crease to kind of amp up the pigment. So I'm really impressed with how this applied with my finger. It gave off really great pigment. And I was even able to use this brush to kind of build up uh, my lid a little bit. So now I'm gonna go into this Smoke Perfection palette to kind of smoke out the outer corner of my eye. I'm gonna go in with kind of this charcoal color here. So I will say that this palette, at least this charcoal color, was a little bit harder to work with. It seemed to be a little bit patchy. Um, I was able to blend it out, just took a little bit more time. So next I'm gonna go with the eyeshadow and eyeliner duo. I'm gonna see if I can line my upper lid as well as do maybe a small wing and see how it performs. So this seems to be having a hard time showing up over the eyeshadow that I currently have on. So I'm gonna see if I can actually line my lower lashes with this instead. Alright, so it did a lot better on the lower lash line, so that's kind of what I would recommend for this. I don't know if it's because maybe it's a metallic shade, so it has a harder time kind of building up or whatnot, but I would definitely not recommend this for the upper lid. Okay, so my camera decided to die on me, so while it was charging, I went ahead and I finished up my eyeliner. I put on lashes and I did mascara. I didn't have mascara or lashes from my haul, so I used L'Oreal Lash Paradise. And honestly, I can't remember the eyelashes, but if I do remember them, I'll list it down below for you guys. So now we're gonna go into this illuminating palette and we'll see what kind of a highlight we can get out of this. I'm gonna go ahead and mix this shade and this shade, it's kind of more pinky and then a more champagne-y kind of tone. It's definitely more of a subtle highlight, so if you want something that's gliding, this is not gonna be the palette for you, but more of like an everyday palette, I can definitely see this working. Because there is a little bit right there that you can see. I mean, it's not gonna, you're not gonna need sunglasses to look at this highlight, but it'll get the job done. And then the last items that were involved in my haul were a bunch of lip products. I have a metallic lip, a lip gloss, a couple lipsticks. So I think I'm gonna start with the lipstick that's in the shade Touch of Nude um, and see what I can get from there. Now, obviously, as you can tell, oh! My son's got this one, so never mind, we won't be using this. So I'm actually gonna go with the moisturizing lipstick in the shade Party in the Buff. Now this is the one that's a part of the giveaway, so it'll kind of give you guys an idea of what the shade looks like, at least on my skin tone.
Now as you can tell, this is definitely a lighter kind of peachy nude. Uh, this lipstick does have this light scent of vanilla, which is nice. And I like the fact that this isn't too creamy, that it kind of slips all over your lips. It does have a little bit of a, you know, a grit to it, if you will. So I'm going to go ahead, I'm going to add the gloss Bitten Pink on top of it. Now this is a really nice gloss. It isn't too sticky, which you know some lip glosses are, and it can get so annoying. Um, it's very comfortable on the lips. It does get definitely give shine. Now it is a lip gloss, so it's not going to last you all day. And just for the hell of it, I want to add this metallic shade on top. It is in the shade Precious Metal. I'm just going to add this to the center of my lips and see kind of what it looks like. I really like this as well. I can kind of see this in my everyday makeup drawer, just if I'm kind of trying to amp up my lip look a little bit if I'm going out or whatnot. So as far as I'm concerned, all of the lip products were a hit. I have used this Touch of Nude before, and again, I love the fact that it isn't too creamy, that it slides all over your lips. It kind of stays put when you place it on. Apparently, my sons love it too because I'm going to have to purchase another one now. All right, guys, so again, this is the completed look. I tried to use as many products as I could from the haul that I had purchased. And as far as kind of to wrap up, again, which items were worth it and which weren't, I will say that pretty much everything was a go for me. Um, maybe the only thing that wasn't was the foundation. Again, it just didn't have my shade. And I just felt like there was no coverage. I might as well just use a BB cream that I can buy from the drugstore as well. Um, as far as the eyeliner slash eyebrow pencil goes, I think if I had a lighter shade, I could definitely make that work. So I'm not really going to say that that's a pass because I think it was just kind of a shade issue. But as far as the lip products go, they were all great. The blush was great. Very pigmented, so you have to go light with your hand. And as far as the illuminating palette goes, now again, you're not going to get a blinding highlight from it, but it can get the job done if you just want kind of a subtle glow to get you out the door. If I did have to choose a few items that stood out to me with their quality and things that will probably go in my everyday makeup drawer, the first item would definitely be this bronze and blush duo. I love the bronzer. It was subtle enough that it just gave me just the right amount of, you know, bronzy look to my face. And it was so easy to blend. I was worried about it when I swatched it that it was going to be really, really pigmented and then hard to blend out, but it wasn't at all. The second item would definitely be this eyeshadow palette. Now, I didn't use every shade, obviously, but the shades that I did use went on beautifully. There wasn't any patchiness. They blended so quickly. There wasn't a crazy amount of fallout under my eyes. I mean, you could definitely use this palette after you've already done your face makeup. So that's a huge plus for me as well. I will say that I really love the lip products, but that's just me. I'm a lip junkie. And then I will say that these cleansing cloths were really nice. When I was trying to remove the brow pencil from my eyebrows, it did such a great job because it has like the little nubs that exfoliate. So it was easily able to get it off my hair. All right, guys, well, that about wraps up today's video. Again, remember to give me a thumbs up if you found this helpful, as well as to subscribe to my channel. And I'll link my e.l.f. haul down below as well. You can still enter that giveaway. It ends this Friday, so don't miss out on that. And I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye. Take it easy.